this is another fun one. Um, this is a, we'll add a nice counterpoint to, to that last story. Texts from Fox anchors prove Fox News is about propaganda, not fact. A brief filed by election technology company Dominion Voting Systems as part of a $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against Fox News um, and released on Thursday provides the clearest picture ever of the right wing network's operations and the portrait that emerges is not flattering. A brief, uh, let's see, um, wielding internal emails and text messages obtained through discovery, as well as numerous depositions with Fox's on air talent and brass, Dominion's lawyers revealed that the network was feeding viewers information about fraud in the 2020 election that its executives, hosts, and producers knew to be false. Out of fear that Fox News' audience was leaving for its competitors, the brief alleges the network chose to buttress President Donald Trump's lie that the election had been stolen from him, helping to set up the stage for the January 6th insurrection. Fox hosts are knowingly deceiving their viewers because they think that is what the viewers want. Perhaps the brief's most revealing piece of evidence comes in a text message between primetime hosts Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingram. In November 2020 conversation, the Fox stars shared their contempt for Trump's conspiracy-minded lawyer, Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani. Carlson told Ingram that he personally found their lies unbelievably offensive, but added, our viewers are good people and they believe it. The network, in a statement to NBC News, suggested that the filing was a lot of noise and confusion generated by Dominion and their opportunistic private, equi private equity owners um, that distracts from First Amendment issues at play. Carlson's text message, though, is the key to understanding Fox News' programming. It establishes definitely that at least in some cases, Fox hosts are knowingly deceiving their viewers because they think it is what the viewers want. Other panic messages in the brief include executives chastising news side staff for not respecting our audience by debunking false election fraud claims and instructing them not to smirk at our viewers in that way because they might switch to a Trumpier alternative. Meanwhile, the primetime hosts like Sean Hannity discussed trying to get a colleague fired for fact-checking a false Trump tweet about Dominion changing the vote totals. As Carlson put it, such content was measurably hurting the company. Together, these messages reveal a network operate, operating by a simple mantra, the audience giveth and the audience taketh. Carlson's messages show that he thought Powell's claims about election fraud were absurd and, and insane, in quotes there. But while he noted on air that Powell had not produced evidence for her most explosive claims about Dominion's role in stealing the 2020 election, as Dominion's brief point out, he did not say that he see, say what he believed privately, that she was lying. That might offend viewers who believed what she was telling them and so it went unsaid. Fox News's role, according to its own talent, is thus not to challenge or inform its audience, but rather to confirm what its right-wing viewers already believe. In short, Fox is a propaganda outlet, not a news not a news outlet. So, something we all suspected, but it's good to see, in fact, that that's what the the stars of Fox News are actually, were actually saying behind the scenes as all of this stuff was going on.